Hello everyone, I'm Miyako X Asakawa, and welcome to my channel. On this channel, I make videos on anything related to the anime Bamboo Blade. And today I shall be reviewing Bamboo Blade Episode 1, A Bamboo Broom and a Champion of Justice. And to begin our anime, we start with one of the many main characters, Kodro, um, speeding? <laughs> But all the audience really gets from this intro is that Kodro is going to assemble a team of five warriors. So we get a shadowy glimpse of what these warriors will look like. I don't know if this was bad directing or possibly just intentional to make us see exactly what the warriors look like despite us only starting off with one student. And after our glorious intro, we finally meet this student, Kirino Chiba. Kirino is the captain of the Moroi High Kendo team, but she's also the only student that ever shows up for practice. And an eternity later, after we're done with Shinai swinging and reuse clips, we finally get back to Sensei Kojiro, who obviously could care less about her well-being or the Kendo team. As well, we find out that the Moroi High Kendo team has lost almost all of their members, but Kirino knows that Kojiro could care less about her and the team. She knows it very well. Don't even try to hide, Azuma. We all saw you in the intro. But then we find out Kodro is bad with both money and estimating space. Finally, we see what happened to Kodro before he became Jeff Gordon. And Kodro bets his sensei that he can get a group of five girls on a kendo team to beat his kendo team. For what? Sushi. What? And now this narcissist is trained like his life depends on it? But then two dudes enter who are interested in the kendo team, but the peanut wants to go check out the ping pong team, so see you in five minutes, boys. Hey, Karen? Yeah? What is it? I'm a horrible teacher. I always put my own needs above my students. Kodro, thank you so much. I thought you were a narcissist, but I was completely wrong. You didn't lie to yourself or your students. But you know, life can be hard when you're an adult with responsibilities. Oh, come on, stop blaming your terrible teaching on your life, you narcissistic idiot. You getting motivated for my sake is just so sweet. Kirino, sweet, innocent Kirino. You have no idea. And then we meet Superman, a.k.a. Tamaki. Out of a third floor window! <laughs> okay, you're honestly gonna tell me that hitting a man with a broom is gonna save him from a three-floor drop? Would you be interested in joining the kendo club? Kendo? Your natural ability is unbelievable! I'm not interested. But then Superman's gotta go and pull a Batman on us. And our lovely narcissist goes insane. But the only reason Tamaki doesn't want to join is because she gets plenty of kendo practice at home. After finding this out, we get some adorable and heartwarming dialogue between Tamaki and her father. These two talking is always beautiful, and I love it. They have a great father and daughter relationship. But the key information we get from this amount of dialogue is that Tamaki's mother has passed away. Yo, what I tell you, I knew these idiots would be back. But hey, at least when asked, the peanut says his girlfriend may be interested in the kendo team, so there's a ray of hope. But then Kodro finds out that one of the boys, Yuji, went to the Kawazoe Dojo, and he goes into narcissistic overdrive, trying to find out more about the mysterious Tamaki. Some interesting information we get from this conversation is that Tamaki sees kendo as more of a chore rather than a fun sport. After this, we get some very odd filler dialogue. Tamaki asks Yuji not to call her Tama anymore. This could be sh seen as a sign of maturity, but I mean it's never addressed in the anime ever again. My guess is that they wrote this in to make Tamaki seem more serious and reserved. After this we meet... No, it's, it's in me! It's, guys, look! Shut the fu- <clears throat> Well, back to the review. We meet Donnie's girlfriend, Mia Mia, or Miyako Miyazaki. After this, we get a very well done scene where we meet Toyama and Iwaza, two kendo members who haven't shown up for practice in ages. Toyama seems to have an insane temper that can go off at any moment. I think this is your cell phone. <laughs> Sorry, but I must have taken it by mistake. I have the exact same phone. <laughs> Not good. Thanks a lot. Sure. <laughs> Hey, who remembers using those type of phones? Ah, uh, the good old days. Thereafter finding out his phone is dead, 
Toyama decides to go into the dojo for a while. Meanwhile, Kirino literally drags Tamaki to the dojo. Not gonna lie, I love the scene where Toyama's in the dojo beating the crap out of the peanut, because this shows us how sick Toyama really is. And for no reason whatsoever, he's going to a private high school, and he seems well off. He's just sick. Uh, but seeing Mia Mia so sad, uh, I must save her. Find out one of Tamaki's key characteristics. She dreams for an idealistic world where she saves everyone. And this is one of her most prominent points consistently throughout the entire anime. And she's not going to let Toyama win. Ah, and that concludes Bamboo Blade Episode 1. And I personally adored it. It's well written well drawn. They do a great job dispersing the characters and writing them very well. The anime is also a lot more fast paced than most. Like in most anime it would have taken to like episode 3 to finally find Tamaki. I can't think of any show or anime where the first episode is the best and Bamboo Blade is no exception. Episode 1 is wonderful but there's so many more wonderful ones to come. I hope you enjoyed this review and be sure to check out the rest of my reviews when they come out. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.